you smell what the rock is cooking. What is going on guys, Casual Savage here and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to create a comic book or pop art effect in Photoshop. <laughs> Now just before I get into this video, if you'd like to request a tutorial, then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. So as you can see I have Photoshop opened up right now and we are using Dwayne Johnson or The Rock. And the first thing you need to do is come over to your crop tool and then you want to make sure it's selected to width and height plus resolution or times resolution. You want to make sure the first one is set to blank and this one is set to 870 pixels and this one is set to 150 pixels per inch. So again, make sure it's set to that. Next thing you need to do is just crop it down to however you would like it. So mine's gonna be there. Just select the check. And now to get it back to normal, just press control and zero. Now the next thing we're gonna be doing is making this a smart object. The way we're doing this is selecting this button here and select convert to smart object. Now what we're gonna be doing is coming over to the image adjustments and shadows and highlights so by default it's on 35 but you can choose how you would want it so for me I'm gonna stay a bit low around 19 and there select OK now make sure you selected your layer select control and J so you have duplicated the layer now press this eyeball so it goes off screen now the next thing you need to do is come to the first layer we created come to filter filter gallery and now make sure you come to artistic and then post the edges and if we just zoom out this is what we're getting and these are settings that I would use for this particular image of course you can adjust them to however you'd want to so it's completely up to you uh, the edge intensity I've always left the same it's one by default and same with posterize it's completely up to you um, I'll probably stay with three for this one from there just select OK we can always change it after because it is a smart object now the next thing we're going to do is select this eyeball again so you can see everything back on and it's back to normal. Make sure you've selected the thumbnail of this layer. Come to filter, pixelate and color halftone. Now leave everything where it says screen angles by default but change the max radius to anywhere between 6 and 8. From there select OK. This is what you're going to get. Change the layer style to a soft light. Then just to make the colors pop a bit more, we're going to come to this right here and we're going to come and select vibrance and you want to make the vibrance go all the way up and this will make the colors pop so much more. So if I take it off and put it back on, as you can see the colors are more vibrant. And just like that you have created a comic book slash pop art effects in Photoshop. So hopefully this video has helped you as you can tell it was very quick and it is very simple to do. Like I mentioned at the start if you'd like to request a tutorial then be sure to leave it in the comments below or ask me on Twitter. That's it for this video thank you so much for watching I hope this tutorial has helped you please subscribe rate and peace.